guys. I am taking a break from painting right now. I just finished scumbling in some paint on this deer right here and I'm kind of alone in the studio and I thought it'd be fun if I just made a weird video about stuff that I like in the studio. Why not? Uh, so this is a love letter to turpentine, actual turpentine. I use Rube Love's gum turpentine. Um, I try not to use it very often and I run an air filter in my studio when I do because it is super headache causing me and bad enough that I smoke in my studio but um, Smoking around turpentine is probably really not a good idea. Um, anyway, the reason I like turpentine more than mineral spirits or any of the other thinners that you can use in paint is that um, it has a way of covering really satisfactorily. Like it, when you put too much mineral spirits in paint it just kind of slips around and you'll end up removing way faster than putting down and you need a lot of paint um, whereas to cover this whole canvas which is like a 16 by 20 I used a ridiculously small amount of paint and a lot of turpentine and I did that for a couple of reasons one I want to you can't see in the video but I want to preserve some of the scrapiness of the background. So I do want a thin layer of paint. Um, but I also want it to set up rather fast. And that's maybe my favorite thing about turpentine, like for Alla Prima painting or especially in plain air. Truck. That's right, I live in the country and there's traffic sounds outside my window. Um, when you're plain airing and you really just want to cover the whole canvas right away, uh, turpentine does a great job of not going through, uh, it doesn't stay wet as long as mineral spirits does, and it, it doesn't dry, but it kind of sets up a lot faster. Like, if, I, if this had mineral spirits on it and I were to touch it, you would see a fingerprint because the, the spirits are just so thin. But the turpentine has so much body to it without being like oil that this is five minutes dry. And if I pressed hard, I could leave a fingerprint, but it's already setting up. And so, you know, I've been painting these things with patterns. And in this instance, I'm sitting here thinking, OK, I want to put this paint down so that I can go in and paint a pattern today. And if I had done it with mineral spirits, that pattern would have been very difficult because I would have been removing a lot of paint every time I touched the canvas. So, um, turpentine, I love you. It sucks that you want to kill me. <laughs>